I've got a hole in the ceiling there. Right. We might have bought a van. Carla's just waiting in the car. This is our first video, so she's a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous. But today we're going to show you the steps that we're taking to get the van ready for a pop-up roof. So we've already got it sorted, as in a friend of mine who does camper vans, he's found us a location down in Bristol, I think. They're going to sort us out this pop-up roof. It's like a Skyline Aurora is what it's called. So yeah, I kind of got to get it ready for a week's time. I've got a full-time job. It's the middle of winter, dark nights, and the weather turns out to be a bit poor today and like today and tomorrow are the only days I can get it van ready. So yeah, we're going to show you the steps that we're taking to get this van ready for a pop-up roof. Doesn't mean that it's the right way. We, I've just been watching YouTube videos, so I have no idea. I'm just guessing, really. Um, but hopefully this helps somebody else who's also a noob, because we're complete beginners. We have no, no idea what we're doing. But yeah, my name's Sam. May as well introduce you. This is the van life crisis. Not a midlife crisis, a van life crisis. That's what we've decided to do. So the van that we've decided to buy is VW Transporter T6. We've gone for the long wheelbase because I wanted extra room and, but I didn't want a bigger van, if that makes sense. I don't want anything tall. I don't like driving vans and we live in England, tiny little country roads, tiny little cities and villages. I don't want to be driving a big, you know, sprinter. I can't do that. And the T6s are sweet. I mean, we're, we're broke, so this transition into a camper van, because we bought a panel van, might, might take a while. So yeah, maybe subscribe, and then in like six to seven years, it'll be ready. Hopefully we'll create some good content for you. Um, like I say, my name's Sam, my wife, Carla, a little bit shy, so go easy on her. Go easy on her. I mean, I'm also shy, but yeah. Hope you enjoy the video. So now we're just gonna take you to the van, show you what we're gonna do, and yeah, let's catch up a bit later. What was I gonna say? Right, and what the plan today is, what we need to do is get it ready for the pop top roof, which we're gonna get so we can actually stand up in here. And we've been told by a few people what we need to do. Whether or not we do it right is another story. But the idea is that we need to remove all this cladding. Um, cladding off the wheel arches here. We need to remove the ceiling. Um, cladding, whatever that is, and the bulkhead, and also we need to remove the passenger seat. I have no idea why they need to remove the passenger seat, but we need to remove the passenger seat. Um, and there's some wires and stuff there, so I'm probably not going to be able to get around that to that today. And then also the B column trims. I don't know what the hell B column trims are, but it's where the seat belts are, the trims that are there. They need to come out. Again, no idea why, but. Hopefully I can figure that out by the end of tomorrow because I need to get it done and ready for my friend to drive down to Bristol to get it done. Bristol? So, yeah, that's where he's found. We're getting a pop top, so it's called a Skyline Aurora. So it's oh. going to have like a Skyline scenic 360 view when you pop it up. We're going for black because it's matte black everything. Because you want matte black wheels too, don't you, eventually? Yeah, so the colour code, I mean, we'll show you what the van actually looks like in a sec, but the colour code is going to keep the beige colour and then mix it with black. And then inside, I get absolutely no say on what happens That's inside. That's me! That's all Carla, so the decorations <laughs> are all going to be Carla. No idea what we're going to do there, but it probably involves a lot of potpourri and... Potpourri? I don't have potpourri! <laughs> I don't know. Right, so what we need to do is remove the bulkhead. That requires... It's Carla, so ele elegantly displayed before. <laughs> Some form of um, drill. Drill, yes. But this here is a 10 mil. Uh, I don't know what it's called. 10 mil bit for a, a nut. But yeah, that goes in there like that. And then we also need oops, a PH2 screwdriver for all the cladding. Ceiling looks like we probably just need a couple of Allen keys, little Allen keys, I'll get those later on, but I'll probably do that a bit last. So yeah, let's crack on. I was just about to say, let's get cracking. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wait. I right. can cut all this out. It's easy. 
That's what we like to hear. <laughs> Spoke too soon though. Why? <laughs> well, no, I don't want to speak too soon, so. Yeah, but this is easy. You know, it's everyone. I can feel the winds of change. I hope it's always easy. It won't be. <laughs> right, so now I need. Do I need your help? Yeah, so I missed this bit. So this trim was there. That was holding that up, so just snap that off. And then it curls around there, so. Got some more. Do you need your drill? Yeah, but I need different, different bits now. So it's got like a hex, hex bit instead, which I didn't plan for. Anyway, right, I'll get a hex bit. Right, so I think I need these. I think they're called hex, but maybe star things, star keys. Either a T20, a T15, a T25. I don't know. I'll just try them on. Try the T15 first. No, it wasn't the T15. Try the T20. Nope. T25. It's T25. No, it should come out, but it'll probably, probably fall out now. Okay. What? Here's the contact info for Omar Amadi. <laughs> what? Why is it just trying to come? Yeah, it's calling my brother. Weird. Stupid smartwatch. Right, that's done now, so that should come out. Yay! Yeah. Oh, you can see! Yeah, that's one half done. Woohoo! Daylight. Woohoo! You can see through now. Right. Yeah. The rest of it. Want you to make my heart feel it. Watch enough YouTube videos that I should know what to do. Right, so next job removing all the tie lining. So, because I'm a noob and I don't know what I'm doing, I'm going to label these up before taking them out because we might need to reuse them, put carpet on them or something. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I don't want to damage them, so I'm going to reuse them. So, I'm going to put a little label on them. So, driver's side wall. Probably don't need to be that detailed. Uh, and then on here I'll put driver's side. What about the back? Do you take the back off as well? Yeah, yeah that comes off, yeah. Um, I don't think it needs to come off because they're doing the roof, they're not doing the, you know, the back bit, but we'll take it off anyway because we need to take it off. Because what we're going to do with that? Put a window in. Ooh. And another window there. Here? Yeah. And then another window in the sliding door. And that's all the windows are allowed. Right, so it looks like I have to do the arches first because they're, they're um, silicone silicone sealed. So. Screwdriver. So again, PH2, I believe. But every van could be different, I don't know. You look like a little gnome. <laughs> <laughs> pants keep falling down as well. Should have worn, Should have worn some joggers. Well, I'm just going to get changed into my work clothes, but I didn't want to look like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> yeah. Right. There we go. Oh, exciting. That'd be a wheel arch. Yeah. Right, I'll do the front next then. It looks right, it's probably this one. Yeah, I'll probably speed this up because it's going to be boring, isn't it? Well, that's why I put the um, put the labels on, uh, and we're filming it, so we'll, yeah. just, we'll just rewind the video. True. <laughs> that's the plan, Stan. And an arch done. Yeah. So satisfying. Right, that's that done. Wheel arch is done. Let's do the walls. Should I do the big one first or the little one? Big one. No, let's do the little one first. Let's not push ourselves. 
weird little... Ah, uh, so you'd have to get special screws to go into the van? Well, I don't really know. I think so. But we're going to keep these. Let's just pop off. We're here. Oh, we're all winning life. Yay! Bare panels. Right. The other side now. Going all right so far. Right, so that's all the ply lining off now. I'm going to leave it for today because we've got to go for lunch with the parents. So you make it sound like we don't want to. <laughs> We've got to. <laughs> well, no, but tomorrow's going to be even worse for weather, isn't it? Oh yeah. God. So tomorrow we're going to look at getting rid of these bits of ply line or whatever they are here. Ceiling trim. And then try and tackle that front seat, that passenger seat. Still don't know how we're going to do that. But yeah, see you tomorrow. Make you see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>